We had nice pings, we had nice emotes, then Riot decided to censor it. Someone in the chat suggested that what Riot will do is actually recreate those emotes, yeah, but make them slightly better and sell them so Riot will not have to share their profits with the esports organization that created the original emotes. I'm talking about the Penguin, I'm talking about small HP Akeli, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's see, let's see if Necrit can explain it better. Well, every now and then, League becomes a victim of some really funny drama. Mm -hmm. Not one that deals with monetization, though we might get a chance to talk about that one again. But Wait, what? Wait, what was that? Was that? This has to be Darius. Is that getting? Is that is that the new version of their God King's evolution? Imagine Riot is doing the prestige version, just imagine. Riot couldn't be so greedy, right? But it's more of just silly things. And very mm -hmm. recently, with the latest drop on PBE, which also followed the great battle for the tickets to the worlds, Riot revealed something interesting. Emotes. A lot of different emotes. Well, you have to understand, right? Is a uh for profit organization that is owned by a fucking Tencent, which is the Chinese conglomerate, which all they care about is money. Simple as that. Simple as that. So as a good business, what you would do is you would solve a problem. If you are a semi-good business, so-so questionable business, you would create the problem, then you would solve it. That's why over the past five years, Riot has been successfully removing communications from the game and introducing emotes. All of which are linked to esports. And in fact, it is a bit of a redesign in how Riot wants to support their pro teams. Mm -hmm. Which, at a first glance, might make you think, hey, that's cool. The different teams get their own emotes, the fans can support them financially, and Riot comes out as the good guy who enabled this. It is a win-win-win for everyone. And Riot already tried a similar thing back in 2023. So how can there possibly be drama around this? Well, my friend, in order to grasp the seriousness of the situation, we have to go to Riot's official post, where they explain just what exactly all the emotes are about. And so here's the support your favorite team with global emotes mm -hmm. post. Earlier this year, we hinted at a big change and now it's here. Custom emotes designed by all the pro teams competing in Tier 1 LoL Esports leagues. We know you enjoyed the 2023 season kickoff emotes released last year. For those of you who forgot, uh, it was uh, these. A bunch of different emotes, some with themes, and with pretty much all of them being related to some kind of internet meme. Which is all great, but the themes were fairly limited. So the post continues. This year we wanted to take it up a notch and include every pro team from the LCK, LPL, LEC, LCS, VCS, PCS, CB LOL and LLA. <laughs> I feel like my guy was reading Huawei's abilities. <laughs> Same shit brother. I'm wondering if we're going to see a random table start flying behind Necrid because my guy was enchanting a spell right now in fucking ancient Latin. All the teams in each region were able to co-design one emote with the League of Legends team. That's right! The key word here is co-design. In other words, to some degree, the teams had a say in what their emotes would be. Mm -hmm. Just keep that in mind as we delve deeper into this. Starting August 13th, you can check out these awesome new emotes on PBE. They'll officially be available on August 27th in Riot Regions and August 28th in China. Each emote will be available for 350 RP with 30% of the- 350 RP for a fucking emote, are you mad? Gross revenue going directly to the team that helped design it. So it's, it's not 50-50. It's 30, 70. Riot is keeping the 70% of the bag. Bro, no shot. Riot is so fucking greedy that they decided, you know what? 30% is 30%. Why share that? When we can change their emotes a little bit and release our version of uh, toxic emotes eventually and sell it and get 100% instead of 70%. 
I'd pay for that old bait bank emoji. Case on point. My case on point, you know? Get ready to represent your favorite teams this year and show your support in style. Now, very quickly, before people jump the gun on the 30% revenue share, it is slightly more complex. First of all, see that asterisk? Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't worry about that one, it's totally fine. It's not a big deal, it's just a percentage variance depending on the regions. Overall, they should... But like, st st still, 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 still. What do you mean, depending on the regions? So, which region is getting the chance to profit Riot's pockets the most? That's the question I have. Should all still be close to 30%. But also keep in mind that all of these changes to monetizations are there to help support the esports themselves. Ah, yeah, that's why the entire esports scene is fucking dying, becoming stale, becoming boring. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure they even downsized the fucking arena uh, this year for the finals. Riot said many times that they are still trying to figure out how to make sure that their esports can actually make money. Because if <laughs> anything, esports are a big money sink. And so the money is likely evenly split between Riot and the teams. That being 30 to 30. With the rest likely covering the design and engineering so they can even put it in the game. So realistically, the 30% is not unreasonable. Though keep in mind that that is a lot of emotes, and all of them are up for 350 RP. So in total, that is a lot of RP to be spent. We need this. Put the Baron in Twitch chat. I have a prediction I'm making right now, chat. Should you not? The majority of sales of this particular emote will come from Twitch. Because eventually, some designer or someone who knows how to make emotes in the chat will turn this into the twitch chat emote shit will get instantly added by twitch streamers who play league chat will be spammed by these emotes like this is a marketing genius by the way this emote and but nothing is really forced on anyone, there are no sketchy bundles, people know exactly what they are getting, so don't even try to compare it to something bad. Again, that might be a hot topic soon anyway. So, was this the drama? Was this why these emotes raised an eyebrow or two? No, the drama is not even related to publishing or monetization, which is surprising. Yeah, because at the end, the, the number one problem I have in here is fucking monetization percentages. Esports teams, organizations are getting absolutely fucked by this trade deal. But, bro, maybe, maybe that is the diversion strategy. With more evil intent behind it, you know? I imagine for a second that you are executive working at Riot. And you know that there will be shitstorm and outrage on the internet whenever people will see that pro teams are getting around 30% of the emotes they designed, you know, of the revenue. So that's the same fucking policy I have, bro. If your head hurts, just break your fucking leg. That way, you will forget your the headache and you'll be focusing on the open fracture in your leg. Same approach can be applied in business. If you have a problem in here, just create a larger problem to divert the fucking attention, you know? Instead, it all comes from the designs themselves. So, let's have a look at them. Now, first things first, people know that I am only a very casual enjoyer of esports. Which means that because all of these emotes are based on teams from all around the world, I simply... This one will make money. I mean... This one is amazing, don't get me wrong, but this one will get money. Why? Because it has question marks don't know the teams and I don't know their logos. And in some cases, I don't even know the specific esports related memes which they are referencing. As an example, let's have a look at the first batch, where we are greeted by a Pantheon in a suit and a very menacing looking cat. 
I don't understand either of these references. What cat is amazing? Is that someone's cat? Please tell me, I have no idea. But also, it seems like some of these emotes might not even be related to any teams. But what if, throwing out the idea, what if in the span of the next 10 years, League is still going to be alive, it's still going to be a game, and the emotes will be like the emote tab whenever you are messaging someone, you know? You have the text, you have the funny little circle with emotes, and there's a bazillion icons of emotes in there. Just imagine that in the long run, Riot actually figured out how to sell emotes that we have for free in our communications. Now here, as an example, I wanted to point out the Vi emote, but I was told that that one was actually designed by a team. So really, I'm confused as to what the rules were for designing their own emotes. Because then you also have a bunch of emotes that are just referencing the classic summoner's hand. They don't have any logos or anything like that, which would mean they are likely not related to anyone. You see, mm -hmm. normally that would be because while people are watching worlds, they have drops and these drops can drop emotes. But we don't really have any info on that, which means I assume these hands are just related to teams that didn't design their own emotes, so they just got a default one. Anyway, they are all for 350 RP, which means... <laughs> Chat, I will save you 350 RP right now. So you go into the game, you press escape, you go interface, you press enable legacy cursor, press OK, boom, and look at, look at that chat, look at that, look at that, look at that, yeah. And as you can see it, I just saved you 350 RP, 700 RP if you are buying both of them. You're welcome. Someone's getting the money, and yep. that is the catch. You see, sometimes people will buy the emote to support their favorite team, but also... Sometimes they buy the emotes because the emotes themselves are great and they are good for very unique situations. Where's the Akali one? I see the Surrender one. I see the Bait one. But where is the Akali? Hold up. For example, if we scroll all... <laughs> On the subject of turning shit into Twitch chat emotes. Animate that shit, send it. Dog, just fucking send it. No, no, fuck that. You don't even need to animate it. League of Legends version of Copium. All the way down, you might find Cassante on Copium. You see, this one seems like it is not related to any teams because there are no obvious logos on Okay, question is, chat. Which champion will do this emote? Which champion will do the kick dub? My money on Brom because of the mustache. Shiko, not Shiko. Could be Shiko, by the way. But no, it has to be the mustache. Singed. Could be, could be, could be. But people will still buy it because it is a good emote. Exactly. So now an interesting design choice bubbles to the surface. It would be in the team's interest to make emotes as edgy as possible. Uh, uh, yeah, because that's what works. But also that's the largest issue I have with the fucking current state of the internet. Where we are pretending that there is nothing wrong with the internet, there is no toxicity, everyone is living in a fucking utopia. And people are calling each other acoustic. Like, we all know what we mean when I'm calling someone acoustic, when someone calls me acoustic. We all know what that means. We're just masking it to ponder to fucking... What? To fucking whom? And the long-term damage is that, imagine some new player, some kid, joins League of Legends. He decides, okay, I'll make the worst decision of my life, or I'll start playing League of Legends. And the kid is still, is still growing up, still developing, you know? Someone calls him acoustic. And he doesn't know what that means, he doesn't know the meaning behind it. Fast forward a couple of days, he loses the game, he has an argument with his mother because he didn't do the homework, he calls his mother acoustic because he thinks that's an insult. And his mother actually for a second thinks, holy shit, my child is autistic. Because he called me acoustic. You know? That's the underlying problem I see in the future generations. Toxicity is the essence of things. Exactly. Like, bro, exactly. 
Plus, the largest issue I have with the current state of League of Legends is the fucking pondering to Twitter snowflakes. Dog, you're going into the game. You have to go out of your way to disable the language filter. Yeah, good luck finding that setting. And to enable all chat in the settings. Also good luck. And then when you do all of that, you go play the game, you run it down, someone calls you acoustic, you go to Twitter, you say, Oh, Rito, I disabled all of the safeguards that you've created for me. They called me acoustic, this game toxic, Rito, please, uh, I feel offended. It's like, you know, that fucking me riding bicycle, you remove all of the safeguards, but instead of in this place, you're putting in the stick. By removing the safeguards, you get called acoustic. You, you go complain when you fall on the ground, you know? Hello? So that League's community, which very much likes edgy and, uh, dare I say, a toxic environment... We could never, chat, we could never, we're all family friendly in here, you know? ...would be likely to pick it up, even if no team has a logo on it. As long as the emote is successful and it makes money, the logo doesn't even matter. Exactly. And so the race for the best emote that wouldn't cross the line has started. So going back to the first batch, and uh, I assume the batches are ordered based on regions. Otherwise, I have no idea. You can see that these emotes are quite fine. You have teams likely joking about being good at farming and having good economy. You have some celebrations, perhaps some which leaned into cuteness for profit, and the- I mean, tell me what you want, but this poro- hold on, what is it? That poro emote would sell hard to a ramp players, because two of the conditions are being met. Condition number uno, poro. Condition number two, feeding the poro. I'm going back to the idea of removing communication. Remove all lines, all forms of communication in League of Legends, leave only the emotes. So if you are playing ARAM, if you are an ARAM enjoyer, if you reach the final level of League of Legends evolution as a player, you know, you end up playing ARAMs with the boys, with the, with the girls, you know, we're having a good time with friends, actually having a good time in League of Legends. But since all of the forms of communication have been removed, you need to tell, you know, guys, come on, feed the poro, feed the poro, how do you do that? Like this. Like this. And yes, even dabbing has made a return from 10 years ago. Nice. Also, I genuinely have no idea what this is. I Someone trying to listen. I mean, so something tells me that it's trying to listen to listening meme, no? It's like close to this, no? That's my closest call to this. That's the energy I'm getting from this one. You know? Would be straight up. Music to my ears when I'm 1v5, 100 HP, and I'm clutching and getting a pentacle. My team is pinging me, and this is what I'm doing. Or something similar to it. You know? I assume it would make sense to me if I knew what the normal logo of the team looked like. But even among these, there is one that stands out a bit. There is a team that... I don't see what's behind Necrit, and assuming only from these, I would say that's the penguin with question marks designed their emote to look like an L. And, uh, yep, you can probably already think of some scenarios where this emote would be uh, pretty useful in a likely bad way. But somehow, Riot doesn't really have an issue with this emote. Even though they... Oh, so, so they didn't cancel. So, okay, fair enough, fair enough. ...moved toxic pinging. There was a whole massive drama around... The fucking worst adjustment Riot has made. And I'm taking into consideration all of the bullshit shenanigans we had throughout the last 10 seasons. I'm talking about fucking tank metas. I'm talking about removing all of the fucking items. I'm talking about removing Twisted Tree Line. I'm talking all of the bullshit combined. This is the fucking worst. Though it could be worse, chat. It could be worse. Believe it or not, there was a moment when, at one point, Riot was testing something funny. And uh, that was removing old chat. Dog, I feel like it was two years ago. Maybe, maybe even three years ago. 
they tried removing all chat. Found that, and they even removed some other specific pings that were gone, but not forgotten. Were used in toxic ways. You see, pinging bait? That's toxic. Showing an L after your teammate misses a skill shot? That's fine. <laughs> then there is a batch where things are getting a bit more interesting. We have a lot of crying emotes and uh, making fun of your opponents, be it by pointing at them or uh, pulling out tissues or uh, just being sinister. But the price absolutely has to go to the jinx here. Again, unfortunately, I don't know the name of the team that designed this emote, but it has to be in the log in here, no on her necklace. Whoever designed this is an absolute genius. Yep. Because early surrenders are gonna get a lot funnier with Exactly, just go fucking FF. This. And I can guarantee you, this emote will be popular as a result of that. And yeah, there is also stonks. <laughs> I'm telling you though, they are legit adapting to Twitch chat culture. Dog, I'm pretty sure we have that emote. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Stonk is a cool emote too. And then we're getting into the cute category. I don't really have anything special to mention here. Again, bet the Baron will go hard and uh, question mark on the birds. Is that the birds or just, just casually random beer? Most of these are just mascots of the team's posing, which uh, is good. But I wonder how successful this design strategy is going to be. At least the Baron and the Grubs are going to have some unique uses. But that is then followed by another batch where we have some outliers. Again, Volibear goes hard. This, I'm pretty sure I already saw this earlier, but on different website. Um, hold on. Copium Kasanti will go hard. Nafiri, is it for me? Will go hard. I mean, this is where we are entering the internet culture, you know. There is a bunch of mascots here. Is that? Hold on. We have Nafiri with cute dog eyes, which is. No, it's not. It's not. Hold on. That's not this one. Hold on. I am getting this. Is good. Kaisa doing. Or that's Kaisa. The Uwu emote, which is definitely gonna hook some people. Maybe. <laughs> I wonder. Who will get hooked by a fucking OO emo chat? I wonder. Even the meditating volley bear is gonna be successful. But the two best ones here are definitely the Cassante on Copium, Bro. for obvious reasons, Bro. and Akali doing the faker pose. Which, I think in this scenario, it has nothing to do with faker, but Akali mains won't care and they will steal this for that reason specifically. But finally, and I purposefully say. Better this. This is this is what we've been waiting for. This is this is the juice. This is the sauce. This is the meat and potatoes. If this one for last. Not long to wait till we get a Higao thesis, right? Not in the current state of the internet that we are in. Because if you've seen my shorts, if you've seen my TikToks, there is the, there was a moment where Briar was doing the talking and she was saying uvu. And I did the face. In the span of 5 seconds, that video got banned. I got restricted for quite some time. I replaced that specific briar for a more family friendly one. No problems. So you now there, there is a line. Apparently, major social media platforms are drawing the line at there. There is one more batch of emotes. Mm -hmm. Which is a very special one. Because somehow, all the real drama is cramped into this one. It is the emotes that flew a little too close to the sun. Oh. They tried to squeeze too much money out of their designs. And Riot had to smite them down. So, let's play a game. Can you spot which ones are problematic? Chat, do you see? Do you see the problematic emotes in here? I mean, has to be the porro in here, you know? 
cooking the egg or team of surrendering because at the end of the day when you are getting a warning in league of legends you need to type i understand and they give you a fucking holy bible before that to read and uh, press accept on a lot of bazillion bullshit in there one of them i will not surrender i will play my hardest so naturally the only issue i have in here is this team of emote surrendering is toxic by the way. You see, some of these emotes are actually really good. In the top line, you have the furry horn, which is also gonna be used in TFT, mm -hmm. which means that this team is dipping into two audiences at once. T1 cool. is doing the goat because of Faker and the four prizes he got. Yeah. Below that, we have jungle on fire, which is the obvious joke. Again, going back to the idea, remove all forms of the communication, which I firmly believe Riot will do eventually in the span of a couple of years, and the only form of communication we'll have will be emotes. And imagine your first time jungler Lee Sin gets invaded and gets killed. Entire team will be spamming that shit. Talk about a jungle diff, one that's gonna be overused a lot. And then there is an emote that might be used against Riot themselves. And that one is the Clown Jinx. Yeah. Now that was an accurate description of how to use that emote. But Riot doesn't really have an issue with that one. What do you mean? There's a question mark, there's a clown. What do you mean, uh, Riot? This is, this is toxic. But this is toxic, Riot. And it is still in the files as it is shown here. So it's all good and I'm just saying that one's gonna be popular. But yep. that is not gonna be the case for the emote of 100 thieves because here we have akali showing small hp very small hp not even close i mean we all know what 100 thieves were doing 100 thieves knew what they were doing community knows what they were doing the person cooperating on the release on this emote from Riot, a Riot official, by the way, knew what he was doing, or she, you know? The Riot representative knew what they were doing. Speaking of how small your PP really is. Not PP, there, there is a type of necro, there is a type of HP, you know? HP. No, I really mean, uh, does anyone think this means anything else? What? Is it supposed to mean that your play was a close call? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's the one, Riot. We are a good community in here. No one talks sick. No bad uh, things. No bad thoughts. No bad environments. It's a very close call. Small HP barely survived. You almost smited the bad. You know, it was close. Good job. Go next. You know, it's positively reinforcing your teammates, especially junglers. You know, like you almost got the baron. Next time, brother. You did good. No other interpretation can be found in the C mode. Or that you were this close to doing something great? Exactly! No, that's the size of your PP, alright? <laughs> and funnily enough, Riot agreed. That is the size of your PP. And so, they already censored it. What did he just say? Hold on. And funnily enough, Riot agreed. That is the size of your PP. I mean... If you're a League of Le Legends player, even the company whose game you're playing is insulting you. And so, they already censored it. And yeah. in the files, we can find an altered version. Now, instead of measuring Benji. your PP, Akali just got old and she can't hear very well. Will this change her the sales? Yes. Yes, this will absolutely fucking destroy the sales, bro. We had the best emote and we have one of the worst emotes right now. Like, unironically, because we know the initial version of this emote, that was amazing, we have this bullshit right now. If, hear me out, you are going to play the devil's advocate, if, the initial files weren't leaked, weren't released. If we didn't know about the initial version of a Kali emote, this emote on itself would go hard. 
You know, going back to the idea of get, getting, clutching a pentakill, people pinging you, your team is pinging you, and you're like listening to it, you know, you're enjoying the music. Like, who, who, what's up? What's up, baby? Who, who was talking shit? You know, I got this. But, since the players, you know, initial version of this emote, the sales will be dog shit in the first, I want to say, three weeks. Maybe even less, maybe even two weeks. Case in point, Ari skin boycott. Idea was good, shit was good, band rates were good, and then people just, you know, moved on. Because at the end of the day, you have to be real. That's the internet. That's the internet. People, people just move on. The same thing is going to happen to this emote. Yes, by a lot. And in fact, now I wonder what would the numbers look like if they changed it back. Because now Riot is aware of the fact that the players would love to have this emote in the game. And because of the drama, the players are aware of this emote's existence. Exactly. Philip, exactly. But no, I'm still going back to the idea that someone mentioned in the chat. What if Riot will release their own version of this emote and will not have to share it, the profits with the esports, you know, with the 100 people right now? Hey, 30% is 30%. So mark my words, if Riot reverts this change, they know what they are doing and they are financial geniuses. Because if they revert it, so many more people are gonna buy it now. True. Hold up, uh, apparently this one has more layers. Wait. So after watching Dumbs' video, uh, I found out that uh, this emote actually has a bit of a toxic history in Korea, where they actually take the specific gesture as being offensive, the word. Hold on. Although I'm not too sure. I think it's a gesture that a uh, cliffhanger. Hold up. Men. Right, you have to bring it back. This is expensive. The word men. Specific gesture as being offensive. The word men. I need subtitles. Did he just say men? He did say men. I'm gonna go on a sexist tang tangent right now, but Doug, we... As a man, I'm pretty sure I speak for the majority of us. We don't give a fuck. Bro, if you are older, you definitely grew up with original Call of Duty lobbies. There's nothing on this planet that you can say that will straight up offend us. In, in Korea, it literally means small people. Bro, bro, I, I, I don't know how to tell it, but uh, on in the beginning of time when we got internet, the insults were so unfiltered that literally nothing nothing can, can can be can be affecting the mind of a man. You know? It's like we're immune and I'm pretty sure there are girls who are immune to that bullshit. Plus keep in mind that's fucking internet. We're talking about something a somewhat offensive symbol on the internet in the video game that score idea is toxicity. What? Right, you have to bring it back. This is gonna be a money printing machine. But alas, oh. this was not the emote that was hit by censorship. Because in the bottom row, there is one more. There is one more emote that was deemed too toxic even for League of Legends. It was simply too much for the community to handle. And of course, I am talking about the Pangu bait emote. Now Again, going back to the idea of uh, questionable businesses who are very profitable by doing not very morally just things, you know? When instead of solving the problem, first of all, you're creating the problem and then you're selling the solution. It's like, dog, just maybe change the angle of that hook. You know? Maybe. Oh yeah, I remember you insulting me on three generations of my family before me. <laughs> Getting insulted is nothing, bro. When your IP gets leaked, when the person insulting you gives you your IP, when he sends you a screenshot of your fucking address from the Google Maps, you know? And then he curses you in Romanian. Now that shit was different. Not gonna lie, that shit was different. Now, what is the big problem with this one? 
Well, by allowing this one in the game, Riot would technically admit to double standard. Because they removed the bait ping, because people were only using it with nefarious reasons. What do you mean? What nefarious reasons? I have no idea. No, no, I plead the fifth. Mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I have no idea what you're talking about. So if this emo then made it into the game, people would be still using it with their nefarious reasons. So what did Riot do with this? <laughs> but like, ironically, if this game, if this emote would go live, chat type one if you would spend money on it. Because unironically, I know I fucking would. I know I fucking would. Instantly. But this, this is, this is, this is what brings me back to the idea of uh, Riot yoinking this emote. Riot straight up yoinking this emote. Imagine they will release their own version and they will not have to share the profits. This semi edgy emote that was guaranteed to make money? Uh, Shifu, my uncle told me that he witnessed how his friend hacked someone at home network using a dial up connection. Scary. Casual Tuesday? Hello? But back in the day, that was fucking Casual Tuesday. Then you would go to the original YouTube, and your home page, you would see uh, a fucking do slice of bread falling video. The CGI. That was better than in Doctor Strange into the multiverse, into the something like that, with orange. That CGI was applied to an orange, that shit was viral, that shit was the best. And then, on number 3 video, you would casually see some, some ISIS beheadings. And I was like, dog, what, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? That, 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 was, that was normal Tuesday. Back in the day, that was fucking normal, normal Tuesday. And Cherry, I'm, I'm not even talking about the pornography. I'm not even talking about the clickbait, but that wasn't clickbait. Now I think about it, you would see... As, as a growing up, young teenager boy, you would see spicy thumbnail of an attractive female. Now we consider that thumbnail, that, that thumbnail would be a clickbait because the video is different. Back then, the video wasn't different. <laughs> Back then, dog, the video wasn't different. <laughs> So, you know, you know, YouTube was in its prime. They butchered it. Absolutely and without smidget of a doubt. I mean, the icon and the pose are the same. But without the hook, it is never gonna be the same. Draw. Oh well, Jax mains might use that one. And that is where the emote drama currently leaves us. It is a really cool thing that Rat is trying out. Not nothing like witnessing the real machining injuries on live like oh that was amazing yeah those were fucking amazing especially the ones from China just the collaboration they've done this in the past but the fact that they gave the teams the freedom to design their own emotes and they also invited more teams in for the fun and honestly it was fun to see the teams trying to come up with emotes that would be the best for the community either because they would support the teams or because we are all edgy after all. It was simply a really cool race where they try to one-up each other. And Yeah, this is this is the issue I have with the again, this is the issue I have with the current state of the internet, bro. We all know the meaning. We all know what's being said. We all know the message that's being sent. But we're sending it in the layer upon layer of complexity of hiding and masking it. The same example of calling someone acoustic. Dog, I'm not calling you acoustic. You know I'm not calling you acoustic. I know I'm not calling you acoustic. My fucking 05 bot lane knows I'm not calling my 09 top lane acoustic. You know? We all know the meaning. Same thing will be applied to these emos. And since Riot invited more teams to join the contest, the participation, whatnot, on one hand, sure, kinda cringe that we have to ponder to some sort of a artificial created filters, that, if you know, you know. But on the other hand, it kind of challenges your creativity. That's one thing I'm pretty sure, at least for now, we as humans have better than AI. The hidden meaning behind things, you know? Maybe, maybe, maybe that's the silver lining on this one. And eventually some of them burned. Speaking of which... Keep an eye on the L emote. There is no way that one stays the same. It will. <laughs> yeah. Where are the videos? Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. But yeah. But yeah. And dog, I'm straight up becoming Asmogold. We turned a 15 minute video into a 55 minute video. 
So there's that.